Good morning, everyone. My name is David Elwood. I'm the dean here at the John F. Kennedy School of Government, and welcome to the John F. Kennedy Junior Forum. It is my very great honor to have you all here today for a special public address by uh, uh, Shizo, Abe, Shizo Abe, the Prime Minister of Japan. Welcome. I would like to acknowledge a number of our distinguished guests in the audience, Ambassador Caroline Kennedy, Jack Kennedy Sloshberg, and the Council General of Japan, Tom Himiono. Please give them a warm welcome. <laughs> Let me also thank uh, Dean, Director Maggie Williams, IAP Director Maggie Williams, staff of the Institute of Politics, and the Office of University Marshal for making this all possible. Before introducing everyone, I do want to make one quick uh, announcement, which I often make, which is the simple rules of the road here at the John F. Kennedy Jr. Forum. We have remarkable speakers from around the world who come here, including today's speaker. The rules are very simple. All speakers must take free and unfettered questions from the audience, and in exchange, the audience allows the speaker to speak without interruption or distraction. Those are the simple rules. Those who cannot abide by those rules will have to be asked to leave. And I'm sure today's program will go terrifically well. In a moment, I'm going to turn the program over to uh, Joe Nye. Um, and I want to thank Joe for being here today, especially since uh, he just arrived this morning at 6 a.m. on a flight from Asia. So uh, it's a, a true, true service. Joe is the University Distinguished uh, Service Professor and former Dean of the Kennedy School. He really is one of the most remarkable international relations of his generation, scholars of his generation. He's, his ideas, including soft power, uh, are among the most important and influential ideas uh, that affect governments around the world. Not surprisingly, he's been recognized as one of the top scholars in many, many journals. And just this November, the Emperor of Japan conferred the Order of the Rising Sun, Gold, and Silver Star in, Je in recognition of Joe Nye's contribution to the development and of studies on Japan, U.S. security, and the promotion of mutual understanding between Japan and the United States. He is an ideal moderator for today's session. Uh, before Joe takes over the program, though, it's my distinct pleasure to welcome back Caroline Kennedy, who serves as the ambassador of the United, uh, U.S. Ambassador to Japan and has done so since 2013. This is simply the latest chapter in a remarkable story of service and inspiration. She has worked as a lawyer, author, editor. She's authored and co-authored books about constitutional issues such as the Bill of Rights and Privacy, Profiles and Courage, and a series of best-selling anthologies and poems uh, and, and photos. Ambassador Kennedy has been dedicated to public service throughout her life, whether it's serving as the chief executive of the Office of Strategic Partnerships in New York City, the president and the director of the uh, John F. Kennedy Library Foundation, and I see Heather Campion has joined us here in her role leading that effort. And we're especially proud that she has served and serves as the chair of the Senior Advisory Committee here at the Institute of Politics. In many ways, Amb Ambassador Kennedy truly has been an ambassador to us all for a very long time to do. Without further ado, Ambassador Kennedy. Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you, Dean Elwood, for uh, that very, very generous biographical introduction. And it's great to be back here at the Kennedy School and the Institute of Politics. And I'm also grateful to Professor Nye for his encouragement and wise counsel uh, during my time as U.S. Ambassador to Japan. Um, it's wonderful to be here. When my mother and uncles created this institution as a living memorial to my father, they imagined days like this when global leaders, both men and women, would engage students on the critical issues of the day. And that that engagement would inspire the students to enter public life, committing themselves to public service. I'm also happy to be back in this forum which bears my brother's name and carries on his deep belief in involving young people in politics. I'm happy to be here with my son Jack. I used to get the Brown perspective from John, now I get the Yale perspective from Jack. Above all, I'm honored this morning to say a few words about Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. The Prime Minister is one of the most dynamic and effective political leaders on the world stage today. He has sought to redefine Japan's global citizenship for the 21st century. He's undertaken a far-reaching effort to revitalize Japan's economy 
and address the challenging and changing regional security environment. Indeed, the Prime Minister is a once-in-a-generation leader at a once-in-a-generation moment for the U.S.-Japan alliance. As President Obama rebalances U.S. foreign policy towards Asia, he has no stronger partner than Prime Minister Abe, who welcomed the President to Japan last spring on a critically important state visit. And the President is looking forward to receiving the Prime Minister in Washington this afternoon. He will be the first Japanese Prime Minister to address a joint session of Congress, and there is, of course, a lot of interest in what he has to say. During my service in Japan, I have been inspired by Prime Minister Abe's willingness to address, debate the difficult issues, and by his determination to achieve real results. Finally, my family and all of us here are deeply honored that he has come to Boston as the first stop on his official visit, that he took the time to visit the Kennedy Library last night and begins this historic week by addressing us here this morning at the Kennedy School. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you, Ambassador Kennedy, and it's nice to have you back here. Let me say what a pleasure it is for all of us here at the Kennedy School to be able to welcome Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to our midst. For many years, American policymakers in Washington would complain that they couldn't remember the name of the Japanese Prime Minister because it changed every six or 12 months. No longer. Everybody in Washington knows the name Shinzo Abe. Indeed, when I've been in Tokyo, people tell me this is one of the strongest prime ministers Japan has had, it's certainly in this century, but in the last half of the last century. He was first prime minister in 2006. At that time, he was the youngest prime minister, and the first prime minister born after World War II. He was elected in 2012 and re-elected by a landslide in 2014. So nobody is going to forget the name of this Japanese prime minister. But I should add one final detail before inviting him to speak. I can't think of any other Japanese prime minister who stood before the United Nations General Assembly and said, we have to do more for the role of women in Japan and in the world. This is quite a tribute for the man who is going to speak to us today. So welcome to the Kennedy School, Prime Minister Abe. Thank you very much for your wonderful introduction, Professor Nye. Ambassador Kennedy, you've been uh, so nice. To start with, the mega quake that hit Nepal has caused tremendous damage and many lives were lost. Let me extend my heartfelt condolences to the victims. My heart and prayer are with them. My country has already deployed our emergency relief squad, and as their friend in Asia, Japan spares no effort to provide medical support and support for their reconstruction. Good morning, folks. I am very pleased that so many of you have joined us today, thanks, of course, to Professor Nye. I am keen to know what is of interest to those of you in the Cambridge community. I'm looking forward to taking your questions later on. And it's um, also going to be a thrilling experience. I have actually two cabinet ministers who are products of the Kennedy School. Yasuhisa Shiozaki, Health, Labor and Welfare Minister, and Yoshi Masa Hayashi, Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries Minister, are both pushing forward in their respective fields momentous reforms that happen only once in decades. In fact, I am pushing forward major reforms not only whatever economic rationale there may be, no reform succeeds without first putting your political process elaborately into order. By political process, 
I mean the relationship between the parliament and the cabinet, between the ruling party and the opposition, and between the government and the people, especially stakeholders, and the government and the press. No reform is achievable unless you adequately manage those relationships. In many cases, people that are pro-reform constitute a majority, but they are a silent majority. Vested interests, in contrast, readily find opportunities to raise their concerns. Reform consumes your political capital. History tells us that in my country, one single administration deals with, at the most, one or two reform agendas that are meaningful. All that notwithstanding, I have tenaciously engineered a succession of the reforms uh, coming one after another, and I will be fearless going forward. Why do I say that? It is because now, more than at any time before, I believe there is in Japan among its people a strong and growing desire to pursue reforms. We've had prolonged deflation. Demand in the private sector has gone down as a result. So have private savings due to our aging demography, which has worsened the economy's macro balance. My role in these circumstances is to lead the nation to think of itself once again as the little engine that could. As econ economics tells you, for us to grow our economy in Japan, there is simply no getting around increasing our labor productivity. Whether my reforms are about engaging more female labor, infusing into Japan more foreign capital and knowledge, or the TPP, all of them are focused on a single target, namely revamping our way of doing things and making innovation flourish by changing die-hard business habits. It is my desire to foster young men and women who envisage their future in Japan with greater confidence. These young people will make the economy stronger take on global issues, and as a result, increase the nation's value as part of a virtuous circle. That whole process will surely benefit the United States and the countries of Asia. A stronger, more reliable Japan is also in the interest of the U.S. as it pursues its policy of rebalancing. And a more robust alliance between the U.S. and Japan is in the interest of the region and of the world, I believe. What comes to your mind when you think of global issues, Ebola, climate change, the status of women in developing countries. We can multiply the added value we bring to all of those areas through Japan and the U.S. joining hands in tackling those challenges. Together with Professor Amartya Sen and others, my country developed and spread the concept of human security. The essence of human security holds that you must empower each and every individual in order to win the battle over poverty. Human security also holds girls' education dear. When First Lady Michelle Obama was in Japan just recently, we announced that we would include the education of girls in our shared development agenda. 
Japan and the U.S. are also advancing their cooperation against disasters. In the Philippines and other Southeast Asian countries, for instance, the U.S. and Japan are working together to build local capacities for disaster relief and post-disaster reconstruction. The list goes on and on. I hold the view that the time has come for the U.S.-Japan alliance to derive value through our struggles with global issues. Before I conclude my remarks, let me add that to my delight, some polls of late rank Tokyo among the most beautiful cities in the world. Tokyo, the host city for the 2020 Olympics and Paralympics, will become a place even more open toward the rest of the world. And all throughout Japan, you will find many other places, hidden gems, if you like, awaiting your visit. Japan, right in the middle of major reforms, is now making, I dare say, a quantum leap. Please do come and see it for yourself. I also want more students from Japan to come to Harvard. If I may say it again in closing, reform never comes without resistance. There will always be pressure from society to suppress it. Still, once you have reached a decision after, of course, having given it rigorous thought, you must carry through on it. Reflecting on that as my own responsibility, I was led to remember what JFK left us. What is leadership all about? A young JFK answered that in the expression, grace under pressure. That's what I, too, hope to carry forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I will stop here now and take your questions. Thank you again, Professor Nye, for making these arrangements today. Thank you, Prime Minister. It's now time for Q&A. We have three simple rules in addition to the basic rules that Dean Elwood expressed. One is when you go to one of the microphones, there are two on the floor here and two in the balconies. When you go to one of the microphones and queue up and ask a question, please identify yourself. That's rule number one. Rule number two is there's one question per customer, uh, and it should be short, less than a minute, a quick, short question. And rule number three is that a question ends with a question mark. There's only one speech. We've already heard it. So what we want to hear now are questions. So Mr. Prime Minister, if you would take some questions. And we will have consecutive translation with the questions. あの、それではあの質問を開始したいと思いますが、3つの基本的なルールがあります。マイクはフロアに、このフロアに2つあります。バルコニーに2つありますが、それを使って質問する時には1分以内ということで手短に。そして3つ目は質問は、質問は、え
あるチャーターでございます。ハーバードのケネディスクールとビジネススクールと両方に通っております学生でございます。日米のエネルギー協力について伺いたいと思います。日米のエネルギーの面での期待、これはそのアメリカから日本へのエネルギー輸出の観点から、また戦略的な関心事という観点から、アメリカ、日本、あるいは全世界的な戦略的な関心事という意味で、その2つについて、言及いただければと思いますあの現在、日本においては、今までエネルギーの3割を担っていた原子力発電所はすべて止まっております。In Japan,、uh, what has accounted for 30% of our energy, that is,、uh, nuclear power plants, have,、uh, are now all out,、uh, uh, have stopped operations. So, in that case, the energy of 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 And、uh, when it comes to hydropower or solar uh, power, uh, such uh, renewable, renewable forms of energy、uh, account for less than 10%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%.
威嚇を用いないということであります。The second is that states shall not use force or coercion in trying to drive their claims. ということ And the third principle is that should problems arise,、uh, states shall seek to settle disputes by peaceful means. アジアの海をまさに平和の海、繁栄の海にしていく、このためにアジアの国々が協力をしていくということも重要なことだと思っています。Uh, all of the、uh, participating uh, nations uh, were able to see eye to eye on this and agreed、uh, to these principles. In any case, uh, uh, I should like to uh, uh, make uh, uh, Asian countries, the Asian region, the ocean of peace and、uh, the ocean of、uh, prosperity. And to this end,、uh, we should like to cooperate with the countries in Asia. And Japan itself、uh, will、uh, make efforts、uh, to improve relations with China and、uh, the Republic of Korea. Let me turn to the left balcony. Good morning, Prime Minister Abe. My name is Anna Carell, and I'm a sophomore in the college.、Um, here at the IOP, we promote and encourage young people to engage in politics and public service、uh, with the understanding that our generation is the future. How do you see the future of politics, and how does our generation play into that? あのアナコーランでございます、この大学の2年生でございます、この大学におきましては、政治、あるいは公共サービスに従事をするということを大変、奨励をいたしております、将来の政治について、そしてそれにおける若い世代の役割について、言及していただければと思います。まさにえーまあ、未来は若い世代が担っているわけであります。Uh, the the 私もまだ若いつもりなんですけども、もうすでに60になっております。日本においては、投票年齢を、まあ、今度、まあ、米国はもうすでにそうなっているんですが、まあ、18歳に引き下げることにしました。Um, we、uh, will be uh, uh, reducing the age of eligibility for voting to 18 years. In the United States, this has already happened.、まあ、ののまね、And that's why we encourage young people to vote for t h e m And whether it's a pension or a, a medical services and the schemes and institutions for providing these, I believe the subject of interest to the younger generation is whether they could receive the benefits in terms of insurance, in terms of pensions and medical care, and whether the system will stay intact. また外交において国と国との関係においては、歴史的にさまざまな課題を持っている場合がありますが、しかし、同時にです、ね、若い人たちが交流していくことによって、お互いの誤解を解いていく、お互いに理解を進めていく、多様性を認め合っていく、これができるのはやっぱり私は若い皆さんではないかと思っておりますので、私はなるべく若い人々、例えばたくさんのアジアの皆さん、アフリカの皆さんに日本に来てもらう。プログラムを進めておりますし、日本の若い人たちにもハーバートを含め世界に出て行ってもらいたいと思っています。Right now.、Um... Uh, in diplomacy,、uh, relationships、uh, between countries are such that sometimes、uh, there are challenges. Uh, but uh, I believe that the young people have、uh, an opportunity to、uh, resolve uh, misunderstandings uh, and to understand each other and to recognize uh, uh, diversity. In that sense,、uh, I wish to welcome uh, young people uh, from Asia and、uh, the United States to come to Japan and also、uh, for Japanese students to go to Harvard and to go elsewhere in the world. All right. Hello, Prime Minister. My name is Joseph Cho, and I'm a sophomore here at the college.、Uh, I would like to thank you once again for coming to speak to us today.、Uh, I apologize in advance if my question comes off as provocative, but it has to do with a topic that weighs heavily on my heart.
Um, as someone with ties to South Korea, I know that the issue of comfort women has been a source of contention between my country and yours. Um, there is solid proof showing that the Japanese government um, and military were directly involved in the comfort women system, and Japan has even formally apologized for this in the 1993 Kono Statement. So my question is, in the face of all these facts, do you still deny the Japanese government's explicit involvement in the subjugation of hundreds of thousands of women into coerced sexual slavery? Thank you. あの、対立の点となっている問題でございます。お詫びということで表現しておられます。でもそれでも政府及び軍が関与したということを首相は否定なさるのでしょうか。そして何百人何千人という女性が性的奴隷として強制的に連行されたということを否定なさるのでしょうか。ま、いや問題については、人身売買
the international framework, beginning with uh, UN Women, uh, entities uh, to which uh, Japan has contributed in 2014 uh, to the tune of uh, $12 million and in 2015, a decision has been made to contribute approximately $22 million. So uh, we have uh, very uh, resolutely uh, determined that in the 21st century, uh, women's uh, human rights uh, should not be uh, violated. Good morning, Mr. Prime Minister. Uh, my name is Dhruv Goyal, and I'm a junior at Harvard College. I'm from Mumbai. Uh, my question is specific to BRIC nations, so Brazil, Russia, India, and China. Um, what role do you envision Japan playing both economically and geopolitically with regards to these countries? I know you share a very special bond with our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, and so I was just curious about that. Uh, 私、この大学のあの、3年のドイルでございます。え、ブリックス あの、フォーマブリックスのフォー、ま、国々、ま、現在、ま、それぞれ課題を持っていますが、ま、世界の経済を引っ張っていく、その大きな可能性を想像の国が秘めているとやめます。uh, the BRICS countries are such that each have their own uh, specific issues, but they have the uh, potential uh, to uh, be the traction for the world economy, being the drive for the world economy. え、私はブラジルを、ま、uh, last year, I had the occasion to visit Brazil. Uh, we have in Japan strong ties uh, with Brazil, uh, there being many uh, Brazilians of uh, Japanese uh, origin, and so we have a friendly uh, relationship. Uh, they are beset with uh, economic difficulties at the moment, but I am convinced that Japan will overcome uh, these, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Brazil will overcome these issues. Uh, uh, with regard to Russia, uh, I uh, hope that uh, at all costs uh, they would reach agreement on uh, the issue of the Ukraine and uh, bring about a peaceful resolution. え、戦後70年まだ平和条約が締結をされていないという状況でございますので、なんとか私はプーチン大統領との間で対話を進め、ま、そう簡単ではありませんが、平和条約に向けて努力を進めていきたいと思っています。At the same time, uh... Uh, 70 years after World War II, we have not concluded a peace treaty uh, with Russia. And so uh, I should like to somehow continue uh, a dialogue uh, with uh, uh, Mr. Putin, and I'm sure it's not uh, easy, but uh, I should like to uh, make an effort to, to uh, conclude the peace treaty. Uh, as for China, uh, the development of China is a major positive for Japan and the world. Uh, um, at the same time, uh, China's conduct in the South China Sea as well as the East China Sea are such that Japan and uh, many countries in uh, Asia are concerned. The same goes for militarism uh, displayed by China. As 
as a responsible major power in the region, I hope uh, sincerely that uh, it would uh, find a, a peaceful answer to its challenges. そしてインドでありますが、最大の民主国家であるインドとですね、私は関係をさらに強い関係にしていきたいと思います。モディ首相は、まあ先般日本に来日をされました。何回か首脳会談、マルチの場でも行っておりまして、モディ首相の強いリーダーシップによってですね、インドが力強く発展していくことを大いく大いに期待をしたいと思います。As for、uh, India, it is、uh, the largest、uh, democratic nation, and、uh, I wish to see relations、uh, strengthened、uh, between India and Japan. Uh, 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 Pri um, Prime Minister Modi has、uh, come to Japan, and、uh, I have had the occasion to engage in uh, uh, talks uh, with him at uh, multilateral uh, fora uh, many times. And、uh, under the strong leadership of uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi, I hope that uh, India uh, will achieve a, a very robust、uh, development, and I have great expectations of this. 経済だけではなくて、安全保障においても、インドとの関係を強化していきたいと考えています。And not only in the area of the economy, I wish to strengthen bilateral relations with India in the field of security as well. Right floor. Me. This is unfortunately going to have to be our last question. 残念ながら最後の質問です。Thank you so much, Prime Minister Abe. It's such an honor and a pleasure to hear you speak here.、Uh, my name is Sitsu Gofard. I'm a senior at Harvard College studying economics. And my question is the following. So, in your speech, you talked a lot about、um, your goal, your overall mission of elevating the status of women in Japanese society and in the workforce,、uh, which is an excellent goal.、Um, but surely, of course, you will admit that、um, it's still a challenge. Uh, right now, according to statistics from The Economist, only about 1% of senior executives in the Japanese workforce are women.、Um, and, on, and sort of the, the female representation in the Japanese parliament is still in the teens. So I'm wondering,、um, sort of goals aside, can you lay out specific things and actions that you have done in office or are continuing to do in office to try to change that? Thank you. あのハワードの3年の経済を学んでいるものです。えー、大変安倍首相を迎えられて光栄でありましたし、嬉しくも思いました。えー、今あご発言の中で,です、ね、女性の社会における、そして職場における地位を高めるということについて、いろいろと言及なさいました。ただです、ね、これはまだ大きな課題であるというふうに思っておりますし、ご自身も認められるでしょう。エコノミストの統計によりますと、上級幹部の職に就いている女性は 1% 以下、そして国会における女性の代表も非常に少ないということでございます。ですから、目標はさておいて、具体的に何をしておられるんでしょうか、そしてこれからどういうことをしていかれるのでしょうか。あのまずですね、えー私,が私自身ができることからスタートしておりまして、例えば、公務員、国家公務員の採用において、女性の幹部候補生を3割、各省で3割以上、今年採用いたしました。すべての省でそれを大きく超えてクリアしています。Um, I am doing things、uh, beginning with areas uh, where I can uh, uh, make advances.、Uh, with regard to uh, uh, the uh, civil servants, uh, I have uh, uh, up, uh, given a goal of、uh, making uh, 30% of executive, uh, uh, executive position uh, women uh, candidates uh, uh, to be uh, hired. And uh, many, uh, most, all of the、uh, ministries have cleared this goal 30% of、uh, candidates for executive uh, uh, positions in government. また、確かにまだ女性の国会議員の数は少ないのでありますが、私の党において、重要な役職は、3つの重要な役職があるわけでありますが、安倍政権がスタートしたとき、この3つのうち2人を女性の役員を指名いたしました。
Uh, indeed, uh, the number of uh, women uh, parliamentarians uh, in the Diet or the Parliament is uh, indeed uh, uh, very small in terms of number. But uh, when the uh, Abe uh, government uh, uh, was elected, uh, uh, there are three uh, major positions in the party, uh, Liberal Democratic Party, and uh, two of these uh, three positions are now uh, filled by uh, women. また、um, and uh, we have uh, cooperation from the economic uh, circles as well. Uh, among uh, listed companies, uh, uh, in, they have taken 60 years to have uh, 90 uh, women directors. But with uh, the election of the Abe uh, administration, in two years, uh, we have achieved 180. <laughs> So in that sense, I must be prepared for a woman rival competing with me. また、多くの企業にとってもですね、社会政策ではなくて、女性が入ることによって、ま、企業の補助席が上がっていくという認識を持ってもらいたいと思っています。and I would hope that the companies have the awareness that uh, they are hiring uh, uh, women uh, not uh, because of social policy, uh, but uh, because uh, uh, hiring uh, women would improve uh, the corporate perform performance. And I would hope that they would have such a recognition. Brothers <laughs> Um, I often say that uh, had the Lehman Brothers uh, been uh, Lehman Brothers and Sisters, uh, uh, they would still be around. <laughs> Please join me in thanking Prime Minister Abe. Very good. Very, very good.